it's very easy to unwittingly betray a narcissistic individual and when you betray a narcissistic individual this causes that narcissistic injury where they get that psychological wound which often leads to narcissistic rage and then the narcissist goes all out to find a way to punish you so that they can feel better within themselves. Now when somebody betrays you, when somebody lies to you, cheats on you, cheats you out of something, deceives you, it is normal to feel that anger and that resentment. It is normal to want to see justice served on that person, which is often why we have to pity a narcissistic individual, not so they can continue exploiting us, but so that we can walk away from them. We can work on ourselves and self-improvement to make our lives better, our lives more fulfilling so that they don't get away with their behaviour. When it comes to betrayal, betrayal is usually that when you've been lied to, when you've been deceived, when you've been conned, when you've been cheated out of something. When it comes to a narcissistic individual, they will count those as betrayals as well. If they discover you've lied to them or cheated on them, they will class this as a great betrayal against who they are as a person. Yet they also have a distorted view of what constitutes towards a betrayal. Again, where we think that things such as lying and cheating is a betrayal, when it comes to a narcissistic individual, something as simple as a disagreement, you disagreeing with their opinion, they take this as a betrayal. They like the empathy to have the ability to see a different person's point of view. You should just readily agree with them. And if you don't readily agree with them, then you have turned against them. They fear that rejection. So you disagreeing with them, they take as a personal attack. And they usually then, because they've suffered that narcissistic injury, they will usually find a way to attack back, to punish you for daring to disagree with them. Or they will play the victim of, oh, I knew you'd take their side, to try and get you to feel sorry for them. Setting boundaries around a narcissistic individual, they take this as the biggest betrayal because narcissistic individuals feel entitled to have everything their own way. So when they don't get everything their own way, they get offended. They also don't particularly like to be called out on their behaviour. So you can have a very simple boundary of you don't wear shoes in your home. You personally don't wear shoes in your home. When you go to other people's homes, you take your shoes off out of common courtesy, regardless of whether the person wears shoes in their home or not. You respect the other person for who they are and not for who you are. With a narcissistic individual, they can know full well that you don't like people wearing shoes in your home and they will either purposefully walk in just to try and get you going or they can accidentally walk in and if you call them out they don't like that shame that they feel within themselves so then they go all out to mock you to taunt you to make you feel like there is something wrong with your boundary and not their behavior narcissistic people take it great offense to people who refuse to comply with their demands you can ask them very nicely to do something for you and if there's nothing in it for themselves they're not going to bother or they will agree and then forget all about it and claim that you never asked them you never told them you forgot to remind them yet if you don't comply to a narcissist if you don't put them first in anything and everything that you do they're going to get offended they're going to try and find a way to sabotage you and to 
punish you for not just readily agreeing to them, similar to that disagreement or having a different opinion. If a narcissist comes and speaks negatively on somebody else and you try to say, hey, hang on a minute, we've no idea what that person's going through, they're going to turn around, oh, do you fancy them? Do you like them? Why are you taking their side? You prefer them to me. They, they get offended by this. You wanting to spend time with your friends or family or do all the hobbies that you enjoy, a narcissistic individual takes this as a massive blow to their ego. They take this as a big betrayal towards, well, why wouldn't you want to spend time with me? I'm amazing. I'm great. I'm better than your friends and family. I'm better than your hobby. Now, they can just keep you that busy so you don't have time or they can claim the I don't trust that friend of yours. Your family interfere too much to get you to doubt your friends and family. Or if you go to your hobbies and they're, they're just going to come on strong with those uh, who you're trying to impress, who are you meeting up with. Projection, because the narcissist is usually doing a hobby to impress somebody or meet up with somebody. So they're going to project out onto you. It's due to their own negative behaviour that they are very untrusting of others. Now, you can become untrusting of other people when you've been lied to, cheated on, cheated out of something, deceived. Narcissistic individuals don't trust other people due to their own negative, toxic behaviour. Any form of criticism perceive criticism now they take disagreement as criticism they take you setting a boundary as criticism they take you refusing to comply as criticism they take you doing your hobbies that they claim to love so much about you as criticism because it challenges their sense of superiority and they're looking to regain control of the situation your independence a narcissist hates as a massive betrayal to who they are as a person. If you dare to make a decision without them, without going to make sure that it's okay with them because they're superior, they're the almighty, they're so much wiser than you are. So you make a decision without them. Although you can't win with them. So if you're just simply looking to what we're going to do for dinner this evening and the narcissist, oh, I don't know, you decide. Yet when you decide, your decision will be wrong because you didn't consult with them, even though you asked them and they told you to sort it. They will find a way to moan about it, to make you feel inferior, to make you feel inadequate, to make you feel incapable of making your own decisions because they don't like your independence. And then when you don't make your own decisions, they start attacking you all the more to make you feel worthless. They don't like anything you do that doesn't prioritise them. Anything that you do that doesn't prioritise them, they take as a betrayal. You are betraying them. You're not putting them first and foremost in everything that you do. When it comes to narcissistic individuals, what they class as betrayal is deep rooted in their need for that control, that validation, that admiration, any threat to the image that they're trying to sell to those around them, any threat to their sense of entitlement, they take as a personal attack of who they are as a person. They take as a betrayal, regardless of your intentions. A narcissistic individual is only ever going to see it from their way. No matter how much you try to explain to them your intentions, no matter how much you try to explain your point of view, your motives, they are not interested. They're interested in you abiding by them and when you don't you have betrayed them and they find a way to punish you including moving on to a new source of supply devaluing and discarding you because they're looking to punish you for daring to not live life on their terms
If anyone has any thoughts on this video or anything you notice that a narcissistic individual classes as a betrayal, please do add those into the comments with people reading through. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support of the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsor link is also in the video description. I do also have several books out on Amazon, 15 Rules to Deal with Narcissistic People if you cannot go no contact, a narcissist handbook which is the ultimate guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, and how to create boundaries around those who have no respect for your boundaries. Go out there, create the day that you deserve, because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.